Hello. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to do like a crazy person video. <laughs> no, um, seriously. <laughs> I'm just going to be myself. Um, this is my channel. Uh, right. So usually my art does the talking. But when it's about me, I'm not sure what to say. So I'll keep it quiet. Anyway. <laughs> Those of you who are wondering who the hell I am. Um, I'm the one who did this drawing and um, it's not finished by the way, I'm still working on it. Um, but I thought I'd do a quick video talking about who I am and what my channel is going to be about because I've only just started it. I thought that it was important to sort of explain really what my plans are for it and why I kind of decided to do this channel with my artwork not only to show off my work of course that's the biggest part of being an artist you show off your work um, but like I love helping others and I thought well because I love helping others if my work for somehow can help other people then you know my videos how I'm explaining things uh, then that's even better. So, really, my plans with my work are to show techniques and give advice and just share art, really, because it's such a big part of me as a person. And I actually, for a while, felt it escaping me. I felt that my art had vanished because my mind wasn't in the right place and I'd sort of forgotten my creativity and like now I'm bringing it back I'm determined to bring it back and learn new techniques I'd got very sort of confined to myself where I wouldn't like look at other people's work because I knew my way was the right way and actually just looking at a few videos on YouTube I'm realizing that I need to look at other techniques not just use my own even though I'm really comfortable with it, I'm like 27, so I'm kind of used to my own technique by now, but it's like, mm, I could do better. Anyway, I've qualified in art and as a teacher, but I've decided that perhaps teaching isn't my thing. I think that I kind of, I have the compassion as a teacher, but I don't have the assertiveness I think that's the word that a teacher needs I'm very laid-back and I'm probably the cool teacher because I'm laid-back but then at the same time I haven't got that kind of side to me where I'm angry so very I can take a lot I can just take so much and I can forgive so easily so kids could really wrap their fingers around you know I could be wrapped so much around their fingers anyway I just, I just, I don't think I'm a very good teacher. I'm a good helper. I'm a good guide. I'm good at explaining things. And I'm compassionate. So I kind of have good qualities for a teacher. But maybe not the organisation and everything else that it requires. But I thought the next best thing would be to go on YouTube, do a few videos and see what you guys think if you want me to do a certain video showing you a different technique in pencil because I'm working in pencil at the moment I am I'm used to doing paintings but I thought you know what I started out doing portraits at school when I realized that my pencil drawing techniques were really really good and although all the way through university, I did do uh, a lot of painting. And I, in fact, I didn't do any drawing, I just did all paintings. Even though I did all that, I kind of now I am realizing my strengths lie in just drawings and very realistic drawings, 
as much as I can and I've always been drawn to the face um, I don't know if anybody wants to talk about that it's kind of like human face I mean dogs and animals as well but there's something about eyes with me and I've always like started with the eyes on a face I think the eyes are kind of the center of the person and it's the soul of the person through the eyes you can really get their identity instantly and I think when I do a drawing that's what I look for anyway I'm gonna stop babbling on because you will probably go because it's a bit boring <laughs> so anyway I'm a qualified artist and teacher and I'm here to help you because that's what I love to do I help help others not just show off my work I am a bit of a show off I will admit but I think all artists are and anyone that says they're not they're a bit of a liar <laughs> Because art is all about presentation, it's all about showing your work, so you can't not say that you, you're not, a, you know, you're not showing off. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, I'm really pleased that my Derwent charcoal pencils came today. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to stop being such a crazy lady and come off and I'll speak soon. Bye!